Hello, and greetings to synchronizers and liberators alike. This is Mr. Echo. Uh, today I'd like to give you a qu quick tour of the uh, new expedition class Carrick, which will be a home for the liberators for uh, many a long mission, I'm sure. Um, just panning around the outside, uh, you uh, the ship has a length of 124 meters, has a width of 64 meters, and a height of 30 meters. Uh, it's got, just passing the bridge there. It's a split level bridge, upper and lower. It's got four uh, external turrets. One of them can be uh, slaved from inside, from one of the bridge stations. It's got a upper hangar and a lower vehicle bay. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very nice ship, and I'm very, very proud to have received this ship in a, you know, from Anvil Aerospace. Uh, it's got uh, lots of multi-crew possibilities. Um, its uh, primary information states that there are uh, that it can be crewed by six, six people, six officers. So today I'm going to uh, go through the six different officer roles potentially that would serve on this ship and uh, what their specific responsibilities would be, uh, where they'll sit, uh, things like that. Potentially, um, uh, it can take more more uh, personnel, obviously, depending on the mission. But today we're going to focus on a six and crewed Carrick and what, and what roles they would have. Uh, we will begin by, uh, as soon as I find the button, <laughs> Uh, to go through the main vehicle bay. The vehicle bay um, is the, I think I found the button there, uh, no, I didn't, I'll find it in a second. Uh, the vehicle bay is the primary ground, uh, ground entry point. Oh, there it is now. So when we're on ground missions and we need to deploy vehicles or take on vehicles, this will be the main and only deployment point for uh, on the ground. Quite a large ramp. Um, just heading in, there is a door control for the hangar door on the left here. Just select that and click that. So the hangar bay, um, I plan on storing a minimum of two vehicles, an Ursa and a Cyclone RN. Uh, and potentially two versus depending on the mission the mission requirements. This is quite a defendable area. Uh, so when we're on so when we're on the ground, uh, it would be necessary to set up uh, some uh, ground defense teams on this location. This left door leads to a ladder. Uh, this ladder goes all the way up to deck three, so the technical deck. So it's a nice quick access run up to the technical deck if needed from the vehicle bay and vice versa you can come down from there obviously yeah it's a nice space obviously you can fit more than two vehicles in here four cyclones fairly comfortably uh, many noxes many uh, other vehicles i don't know how many uh ray cats so the first section we have a lift on the left that which goes up to the two bridge levels and on the right, we have an EVA uh, exit port. Also, it will be a docking collar at some point. Once that functionality comes in, we have five sections, storage areas for EVA suits, which is nice. So this will be our primary exit entry point for EVA missions. Going back along, there are three cargo bays. It's the first one. Uh, so any cargo cargo we'll be carrying, like medical supplies or any economy cargo, would be stored here and be managed here. Uh, the engineer and the XO would, would be managing all cargo activities and inspections. As we move back along, coming to the armory. So there's a split level armory, starboard and port. Each has a uh, storage locker for weapons and three EVA suit lockers. Opening the weapons locker, there are 
8 slots for rifles and 12 slots for pistols. So we should be well armed for any missions. And, and armor suits possibly would be the main goal of these storage areas. This is the main lift that goes to all four decks. Coming back along behind the lift, you have the aft turret. So the aft turret is primarily going to, uh, during combat, that is, be the responsibility of the engineer to man that station. Uh, I will advise where the engineer will, will normally sit uh, during mission, but uh, during combat, they will be required to make their way to the aft turret and man the turret. The aft turret would, you know, is also a good observation turret, especially over planets or moons. So we may, uh, the science officer may 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 like to use that for observations. Um, I think so. Yeah, search and rescue things like that. Okay, so uh, we're going to go up the main lift now. So this is the main lift. Uh, this lift has access to all four decks. Uh, the previous lift only had access to two decks that we looked at. So we're going to go up to Habitation. So Habitation deck, deck two. So when you come up the lift, you come out the back of the bed bay, uh, the actual back of the medical bed, actually, you can see the equipment there. Uh, you can go left or right around the medical bay. The medical bay is squarely located in the center of the ship. It's, it's uh, probably the most most protected area in the ship. Uh, so through the med bay doors, you go to a decontamination area. The responsibility of this uh, station is the medical doctor, uh, AKA science officer. This is the main med bay. Uh, it will be the responsibility of all crew to report to the station and set it as your preferred ICU. This is very important because if you're on away mission or ground missions, or if you suffer an injury, uh, you will be beamed to this location. The medical doctor will uh, assess you and any injuries uh, would be healed. And depending on the severity, uh, you may also need to uh, uh, use one of the uh, medical beds to, to rest up. This is the primary doctor's diagnostic station for observing and managing injuries. And otherwise, it is possible to log out in these beds. Uh, so the only time you would log out in these beds is if you were sick or injured. Uh, these would not be used uh, otherwise. So heading out from the medical bay. First location on the left here is the mess hall. So this is the primary dining area, recreational, hanging out with your fellow crewmates. We also use it for uh, meetings, mission debriefings, because it's ideally suited for that. And uh, yeah, this is a nice space. Straight across from that, then we have the crew quarters, which has its own facilities. The toilets, and rest, uh, this is the recreational area with a recreational table. In here we got five beds. The four beds are for the crew and the one bed in the corner here is for the commander. Uh, and you also have shower facilities in the back. These beds you can use as your primary log on, log off location. Uh, your bed will be assigned to you by the commander once you report on board. It's very important that you uh, get assigned a bed. So moving back along, we have the captain's quarters. So the captain's office is the initial, initial, initial office. Uh, this is where the captain will uh, write up his logs, uh, work out machine technical difficulties, uh, communicate with, uh, with command, and also it's a good space for any one-to-one -one meetings that may have to happen. So heading on to the bridge, this is the flight deck bridge. Uh, there's a lift that goes up to the upper bridge or command bridge, as I like to call it. So the flight bridge has three seats, port, starboard and center. The center seat is for the pilot. The pilot is responsible for flying the ship. 
and uh, some navigation and also will be responsible for uh, operating ground vehicles during ground operations. Uh, yeah, this is a fully functional pilot seat and uh, is, uh, the pilot will remain here at all times except when they're on a ground EVA. The right seat, the starboard seat, is the co-pilot seat. Co-pilot will assist the pilot at all times, either flying or navigation and uh, uh, plotting courses uh, on the left this will be the science officers slash medical doctors seat when on mission uh, they have uh, two mfds for monitoring the ship and uh, in the event of combat situations the port side science officer seat will go to the port side uh, um, turret and the Co-pilot on the starboard side seat will go to the starboard side uh, turret. So in combat situations, red alert, they must exit your seats and head to the either port or starboard uh, turrets. There are some other auxiliary servers here and um, component stations. Uh, currently, they have no function. Later on, we can assign those to different members. The upper bridge, uh, aka, the, aka the command bridge, I like to call it. So this is a this is the upper level of the split deck. So we got a, a starboard side seat, a port side seat, I should say, and a starboard side seat. This seat also. Uh, can slave into the uh, dorsal turret, so that's a gunner seat. Um, we also have a radar display, a, a 3D display, which is very nice for uh, being able to have a 360 view around the ship. Uh, also, there's the there's a forward um, station here, standing station, which can also fly the ship if needed. So the port side seat is going to be the engineering station. Uh, engineers are going to be responsible for maintenance of the ship. They can monitor uh, the uh, ship components from there, uh, port, the, the, you know, all the power levels, uh, quantum levels, all that kind of stuff. Um, the uh, engineering, uh, the chief engineer will, be res will, in combat situations, need to make his way to the aft turret. The uh, commander who sits in the gunner seat can slave into the uh, dorsal turret, uh, so can stay on the uh, on the on the uh, command bridge. But the engineer must make their way to the aft turret. Uh, we will show you where that is shortly. Very nice. Uh, pointing out about the engineer, we also want them to be responsible for ship to ship and ship to ground communication. So anything outside the ship, uh, we would like them to be able to uh, register those communications. There is uh, six escape pods in this area here. Next, uh, we see the uh, drone bay. There are two drone stations currently uh, not fully catered out. Uh, uh, hashtag soon. And across from there is the maintenance room, two room 3D printer. All repairs will happen here. Once the functionality is in game, hashtag soon. As we move back along, there's a lift that goes to three decks. And here is the internal shuttle bay. So the shuttle bay is operated from this station by uh, initiating the console and opening and closing the bay doors. Uh, it will be one of the responsibilities of the of the engineer to operate these uh, uh, these hangar doors and to observe successful takeoff and landing of the shuttles and uh, ensure that the doors are closed after takeoff and after landing. Moving back along the port side, uh, so there's there's a route on the starboard and port side around the hangar bay towards the back. Uh, in the middle, you'll see there's the main lift. So we're going to go down along the port side. So this is where the uh, port turret is located. The 
port turret is manned by the science officer sitting in the port seat on the light bridge. The engineers uh, got engineering is split into two levels. There's many, and uh, we don't have much functionality here, so I'm not spending too much time here. This is the starboard turret. So the starboard turret will be occupied in a combat situation by the co pilot who sits in the starboard seat, right seat on the flight deck. So it's pretty easy to remember. Uh, you're sitting in the starboard seat, you go to the starboard turret. Sitting in the port seat, you go to the port turret. And they are labeled as such. Went up one more level. This is deck four. Stellar cartography. Uh, at the moment, no function, but, but very excited for the function of this area. Uh, what is in game right now is there's two doors left and right, which uh, are identical. There is an escape pod each side and two EVU, uh, EVA suit lockers. Uh, these, uh, this leads to an airlock system. So you have to actually click the door to open it. They won't open automatically, so always sealed. And when you EVA, uh, or when you exit here, you can EVA out onto the upper of the hangar bay. So this is another exit entry point for EVA. Uh, it may not be the primary one, but it depends on the mission. We may want to have two EVAs or we may want to do something from there. Uh, it's going to be mission, mission orientated. So that's, that's the whole ship. Um, I think I've I think I've gone through everything. Uh, I'm just going to go to run around the ship now and just uh, just go over it. Uh, what I'd like to talk to you about now is our maiden voyage. So our maiden voyage is coming up very soon, and uh, we want to launch the Liberator. We want to man all the stations, get people familiar with their roles, maybe run some drills for combat situations to the turrets, things like that. So try and uh, spend some time uh, checking out the optimal routes to do that. Um, we will be loading up the, you know, the hangar bay with a Pisces. Uh, we'll also be loading up the vehicle bay with an Ursa and a Cyclone RN. Uh, we will do a couple of missions, uh, a couple of search and rescue missions, uh, maybe a medical run, or, you know, medical supply run, things like that. Uh, and uh, there is uh, one situation where we may want to uh, clear out some prospectors which are uh, claim jumping and uh, it would be nice to uh, test out our turrets in that situation. Um, yeah, so the maiden voyage will be a little mixture of getting to know the ship, uh, getting to know your role, um, uh, loading up the ship with the necessary equipment. Uh, we need to get some weapons in here as well in the weapons lockers and uh yeah uh trying to work as a team so uh just have another another slide here now let's just see yeah this one here so this is a schematic of the uh carrick so like i went through here we have um the split level upper and lower deck uh, there at the head of the ship uh, so on top we've got the engineering station, we got the commander station, and where the captain will will command from the ship. Lower deck we've got three seats. Port side that's left um, will be the science officer slash medical officer seat. The center seat is the pilot command seat, and the right seat will be the co-pilot seat. Uh, just behind the upper bridge you'll see where the escape pods are and. Uh, if you uh, just below that, you got the vehicle bay, uh, you got the um, docking collar EVA location suits there, you got the armory suits here, okay. Top deck, deck four, stellar cartography, and EVA over the hangar deck, as discussed. The technical deck is here, so. Second deck, we got the drone bays, maintenance bay, hangar bay, and access to engineering. Okay. Um, one thing on the lower deck is this is where you have access to the lower turret. Okay. So the engineer is going to be um, 
having to make his way to the lower turret. So uh, the engineer is stationed on the upper deck. So we'll have to work on a f the fastest route to there. Uh, the um, habitation deck, which is where the flight deck is, those uh, the starboard and port um, uh, officers, which is a science officer slash medical officer and a co-pilot, will have to make their way to the uh, 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 to the starboard turret and the port turret. Uh, so these are located on deck three. So that means that they have to go up one level and back along. So they're they're located on this level here. So fastest route uh, probably is up this lift directly behind them, which goes up to the um, command bridge and then back along. I'd imagine that's the fastest route because uh, then you have there's very little doors up here. Whereas this way they have to go through cargo bay, cargo bay, cargo bay, and uh, yeah. So let's see, yeah. So thank you very much for listening, and uh, I will post uh, very shortly timings on our maiden voyage uh, consider which role best suits you uh, the captain's role and the commander role are, are currently assigned uh, uh, anyone that was assigned a role before uh, this is your opportunity to maybe change now if you wish to uh, we will be rotating roles because we need to get people familiar with all roles um, that includes the captain's role and the commander's role i will be uh, uh, giving the commander the opportunity to you know captain some missions and uh yeah so um thank you very much for listening yeah go liberators